Do not meddle in the affairs of dragons. For you are crunchy and good with ketchup. Wait. Dragons use ketchup? Metal in the affairs of dragons indeed. What is up my friends? Welcome. I'm Jim Davis here for CoolStuffInc.com. Welcome to my Monday video. And we got a we got a really exciting one today. This is a deck I brewed up for the uh, my 10 new brews on the uh, the release of Strixhaven. This is an updated version of that deck. And this is an historic deck that plays a whole ton, ton of Strixhaven cards. Both in actual Strixhaven cards or in Strixhaven proper. As well as, of course, you can see all the alternate arts here of the Strixhaven uh, masterpieces, Mystical Archives. What do we have here? We have a Dragon Reanimator deck. Now, of course, one of the biggest additions to the historic format was Faithless Looting, and uh, a card that's banned in modern and enables all sorts of graveyard shenanigans. One red, draw two, discard two, can flashback. Just the most efficient, honestly, one of the most efficient of all time ways just get cards in your graveyard and get things going. So, loves. Loves, loves a good graveyard synergy here. And we have Faithless Lootings. What are we doing with our Faithless, our flavor of Faithless Looting? We're bringing back huge freaking dragons. Uh, Velomachius Lorehold is the Elder Dragon of Lorehold, the Boros clan, or college, or whatever, of uh, Strixhaven. 5-5, five, five, Flying Vigilance, Haste. Whenever it attacks, look at the top seven cards of your library. You can cast an instant or sorcery card with mana value equal to or less than its power. So, every attack, you get to cast a free spell. And uh, it's a 5-5 five, five Flying Haste with Vigilance as well. Plays offense, plays defense. Really good card to reanimate. So, around all this, we also have our other dragons in Dargaz Reincarnated. Kind of a card that's like, it's like, whoa, this card exists? Yeah, it's a 7-mana Flying Trample Haste. If it would die, it goes into an egg, comes back in three turns. It is the only uncastable card in our deck, but it's not actually uncastable. We'll get to that in a second. So that, we have Dracuseth, uh, which is... Uh, Really, really powerful whatever it's axe. Draco said it's pretty awesome. So, in order to bring these back, we have Umbaria Rites, which is a great card to dump into the graveyard alongside your dragon for a turn four reanimate. And we also have Unbreakable Bond, five mana for a reanimate, but it gives it lifelink. Now, we're playing this over the other five mana uh, options that reanimate a creature. There's one that gives haste, a few other options, but the lifelink here is the most important one because A, a lore hole with, with lifelink is awesome. It's a Bane Slayer Angel now on offense and defense. And B, we, we kind of plan on casting our second reanimation spell after Lorehold's already in play. So Lorehold, get it in play, attack with it, hit another reanimation spell, put another dragon into play. So a lot of times we're going to be putting a dragon into play anyway, post-combat, giving it lifelink. And of course, Lorehold already has haste. So the uh, the bond of revival, not necessary. Lifelink here is obviously great on Lorehold. It's even better on Dracuseth. Because when you attack, you gain uh, 10 life on the attack trigger for all the damage that it deals. That's pretty cool. Uh, to help us get the cards in the graveyard, we also have the new Throwing Discovery, which is a uh, Cathartic Reunion that has no downside if it's countered and gains two life, which is awesome. And we have Sarkin Fireblood, a card that wasn't in my initial draft of, a dra of the deck, but feels pretty good as a plan B. Um, three mana Planeswalker here. You can plus one to, to rummage, discard, then draw. Obviously, that's where, right, where we're at. You can also plus one to add two mana of any color to your mana pool to cast a dragon. So, your opponent plays a a Grafticker's Cage in game one, just cast your dragons. You know, we play this on turn uh, three. We can almost cast our dragons on turn four. And of course, this also, also can cast uh, Dargaz Reincarnate, which is really, really cool too. And then backing this all up is a bevy of really great removal spells. Uh, Inquisition of Kozilek joins Thoughtseize for a great modern-worthy discard package. We have four Lightning Helix uh, to kill things and buy us time. One of the better kill spells in the format. Vanishing Verse, great new kill spell. I uh, can exile things and deal with all sorts of stuff, rest in peace and so on. And Crux of Fate. Crux of Fate is a really cool one. Um, most notably, really awesome to cast off Lorehold. Cast Lorehold, attack, clear the board. Super, super cool. We can also just cast it, you know, for retail if we have to. So, got a bunch of great lands here, a bunch of fast lands and stuff. Cyborg is where things get interesting because in the Cyborg, rest in peace, Graft Digger's Cage, uh, Soul Guide Lanterns, tons of cards that are good against Graveyard decks. So we got to make sure we have a plan for that, right? We do. We can juke. We can just board in some Pyromancers and some Legion of War bosses. I kind of turn it just like a Jun deck. We already have the discard spells and the removal. Um, not too hard to just swap out our win conditions here. We also have Chandra Torch of Defiance, which is a, a great possible like just fair card. And a third Sarkin, um, especially against control decks. So we can play Sarkin early, 
cast our spells, or just go for the ultimate, which I think as well. More cheap interaction, the fourth thought sees, a couple pushes, a couple fragmentizes, rounds out the sideboard. We can sideboard out of our graveyard stuff almost completely, or we can uh, kind of hybridize and do both. So that's the deck. I'm pumped to play, but first, we work more sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right. Match one, there'll be dragons here. Let's go, on the play. Eh, it's not a great hand. Uh, the mana's perfect. We have a lore hold, so we need to draw one of our discard out. We do have 10 discard outlets in our deck. We were leading on Thoughtseize too, our mana's perfect. Eh, kind of a, a loose keep here, but I think we're just gonna keep this. Um, on the play, no pain. And we're drawing to 10 discard outlets. Um, other removal spells, uh, interaction, things like that. We're not really worried about flooding either because we have so many looting effects. We can just like filter through the lands. We're going to keep this. It's definitely a little loosey-goosey, but I'm going to lean up a thought sees here to really mess things up for them. And they are a uh, either a Prowess or a Phoenix deck. Planning, Shock, Stormwing, Borrower. Now, Borrower is really good against our plan. Obviously, bouncing our uh, dragon back to our hand is not what we're looking for. Uh, we'll take Borrower here. Storming's definitely their good threat, but take the Borrower and see what's up. We can kill Storming with all of our kill spells like Helix and Vanish Vanishing Verse, so keep the devil. Uh, so we're going to play uh, our our, uh, our land untapped here. We could play a tap land, but we have three fast lands anyway, so these are always coming un always coming t uh, tapped later than this, so might as well play those first. Give ourselves the option. Sure, play that. So they chose to not strategic planning, which is kind of weird. Honestly, um, they're planning now. Huh? They had a phoenix. Must be nice. And they're gonna say go again. All right. Well, I don't know what's going on over there. What's up? Why are you uh, waiting? A big spell pierce or something like that? Some sort of weird interaction spell? Shock, shock, stormwing. I very, very weird. They didn't. Uh, they didn't cast planning on two. I don't really know why. What they want? What they're leaving shock up for? Honestly. Take the nicer shock. Play a tap land. And just say go. I imagine they're going to shock us and Stormwing, and we'll just disperse, we'll disperse it. it. Might be a hard cast lore hold game. That's also like the plan B too. Is that like we're just playing a deck full of interaction and chunkers, you know, and and just kill your few first few things. Cast lore hold is certainly within the realm of possibility. There's shock. Here's your Storming entity. Let him scry. They have one arc light. They go top top. Wow, top top is impressive. Nobody ever top tops. All right, get rid of that. Draw another land. All right. Well, we are. Uh, guess we're on track for lore hold in two turns. It's definitely not our plan A, but. <laughs> I heard you like big dragons. Uh. Brainstorm. That's pretty good. That's gonna get them going here. Probably going to see at least one arc light come out of us this turn. But we're probably going to have Lore Hold available. So once they have a Lightning Axe, there's definitely a card they could play in their deck. Although a card they might actually just like want to get rid of here because it looks like we're just playing like a Mario Control deck at the moment. Uh, put, put back two, sure. Looting. Hopefully no, uh, no more Phoenixes. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. I say it, it comes true. We like that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? They hit two arc lights and they're strategic planning. Alright, well, that could be a problem for us. That might actually just kill us. Thoughtseize. Alright, well, Lorehold's gotta hit something nice here. They drew a borrower too. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, our opponent's gonna run that good. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. Our, our hand was pretty bad that game. It really didn't pan out very well, unfortunately, to draw any looting effects, but. That was pretty disgusting. Um, if we didn't have all the arc lights in play, we would just cast Lorehold again next turn. So, pretty disgusting opening for our opponent. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um, okay. So, 
we honestly don't have like a ton that's great against them. Um, I might, I might even stand pat. I'm not even sure what kind of graveyard hate the is a dex play, like Soul Guy Lantern probably, which is like okay against us. But um, they're gonna keep in like their cheap spells too because they realistically like just have a uh, just to keep their keeps keep their cheap spells in. So our our creatures aren't very good. I would say Crux of Fate probably isn't very good. And they also have Sprite Dragon, probably, which it wouldn't even kill. So it's got the Cruxes. Maybe bring in, like, a Sarkin. I don't want the four Thoughtseize, honestly. Maybe it's just, like, Sarkin Thoughtseize. I think that's fine. Kind of weird games, like, they never really saw our plan. We just look like... I mean, we, honestly, they probably don't even think we're playing a graveyard deck. Because we didn't play a single graveyard card. We just looked like we were playing sort of, like, a Mardu mid-range deck. That's sick. Three, two Arclight Phoenixes in your strategic planning. Double Entomb, and then draw your best card in the top three. Wild. Wild. Yeah, one less Arclight, and maybe we're okay that game. We can recast Lorehold and go for it again. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. All right, on the play. All right, Mulligan. Um, I mean, this is a red land I would keep, but we can't keep this hand either, unfortunately. So, Mulligan again. Yeah, I mean, this is fine, I guess. Probably ship, like, Sarkin land. Hope these two, these two discard spells are good. All right, they've got Shock, Opt, Looting, Pyromancer. We can't remove their ability to play a turn three Stormwing, but I think I want to just take this uh, Pyromancer here. If they had an Arc Light, I would take the I would take the Looting, but yeah, we're gonna need, we need some help here. We need some help. That's not really help. They've added another land. Okay. With looting or opt? Um, I'm gonna take the looting. Just like a higher upside card if I draw a Phoenix. We need some time here, I think. We do have Helix now to deal with their Stormwing, but we are like way behind on resources. Mulling to five on the play, and then of course looting is card disadvantage technically, so we're in pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty deep stuff here. All right, that wasn't the worst. Uh, we'll start there. All right, well, we know where they're going. Unfortunately, uh, Dragon Seth is probably our, our third best reanimation spell. Or reanimation target, I mean. So I'm going to go Opt plus Thingy. Oh, they're going to shock instead. They're going to save their Opt. Interesting. Again, unfortunately, Brazen Borrower is really good against us. Top, bottom, sure. Lorehold. All right. Lightning Helix. Oh, my God. All right. Well, next time we get to just discard with Lorehold and whatever we drew and try and find some lands and reanimation spells and more stuff. Flashback Looting is good for us. That's, like, not a very good turn four play. So, that's them saying their hand is pretty weak. Discarding uh, a land and another... And, uh, wait, what? Discarded land and... Oh, another looting, right? Yeah, they flash back looting, duh, right? Okay. Another lore hold? Sure. All right. Uh, we need lands and reanimation spells. That is that is a bunch of thought seizes. Unfortunately, thought seize gets really, really bad when you mulligan to five because you're now you're exchanging resor resources one for one. Crackling Drake? We've got an answer to that one, folks. We can't kill this. Uh, we can't vanishing verse it. Oh, my God. We can't vanishing verse it. Um... Yeah, we're uh, in a bit of trouble, I think. All right, so we need a reanimation spell off the top. I guess Lorehold can trade with it. They are holding onto his opt for dear life. 
refuse to cast this opt. Brainstorm, sure. Definitely super cool seeing Brainstorm in a non fetch land format. Really makes the card like brand new. It's really, really cool. Very like appropriate power level too. I think people were currently overplaying it a little bit, but it is very good. Alright, just getting over four, sure. Charter course, draw two, sure. That is not a reanimation spell. Alright. I don't love it, but, uh... Looting Negate Opt. Alright, well, Negate it is, I guess. I mean, they can attack for, like, so much damage. Next turn, it's unreal. They can just, like, Looting, Opt, Flashback Looting, play more spells, stack for 10. Yeah, here we go. Tough first match. Tough first match. Uh... Gotta get out of get this first one out of the way here, you know? Planning, sure. Come on, no arc lights? And they didn't keep the lightning axe. Interesting. Lightning axe is obviously great insulation against Lorehold. Alright, go to H. And Stormwing. Alright, this better be a... Better be a reanimation spell here. That is not. That is not. Alright. Yeah, I mean, tough, tough first match there, obviously. Uh, pretty good hits from our opponent in game one, and then that mulligan to five in game two. Just really, really uh, not doing us any favors. So, tough first match. That's okay. It happens. We're playing Magic. We're shuffling cards. You know, part of the game. Part of the game. Let's see how this second match goes here. Definitely can happen. When you're playing Thoughts these decks, you're sort of, like, signing yourself up for low-resource games. So, if you mulligan or kind of, like, brick off a little bit, you know, it can be a little tough. All right. On the draw for match number two. That's a lot of lootings. Sure. We got two of our chonkers in there in the uh in for put in the bin immediately. Clifftop retreat. Interesting. Lucia. Umbera rights. Awesome. I think we're actually gonna hold the rights. Discard the discard with two chonkers first. See what's up here. Next turn's like tap land looting again. It's like a burn deck, maybe? A Danto Vanguard. And like a feather deck or something? Thrilling Discovery. Sure. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Discarding on burger rights and a looting, I think. Helix, Unbreakable, Sarkin. Great. Shocking in. Playing Bone Crusher. So, it's a fine Helix target. Probably just going to be uh, Helix Bone Crusher uh, Verse 2. Verse can exile the Adanto Vanguard, actually. That's kind of cool. But I think we just Helix here and save the Verse for maybe, maybe something bigger and set up for our. Uh, set up for our Umbrella Rights next turn. Sort of like mid range Boros deck, I suppose. Chandra Torch Defiance. Well, that's super dead to our lore hold, so. Yep. This sort of like mid range deck seems like a really good matchup for us. They're going to rely pretty heavily on sideboard cards. Alright, here we go. Come on, buddy. Here's lore hold. No surgical traction in this format. Attack Chandra for exactly five. And hit Crux, Discovery, Inquisition, Banishing Verse. I'm a little tempted to actually check their hand. I don't think we're going to lose this Donda Vanguard, realistically. And I would snap off a Thought Seize here, for sure. Verse killing a Vanguard is cool. We're going to have a Verse in our hand, though. Yeah, I'm going to just do, they should do a Discard Spell here. Let's see what's up. I kind of doubt they have an answer, but... Some random, like, Banishing Light or something? Yeah, sure. Great. That was a good game. So now I, I, expect, I expect them to have a pretty good... Uh, like, rest in PC sideboard against us, so... Let's bring in, um... So imagine they're not going to be removing Chandra or Bone Rusher, so again, our creatures are kind of eh. 
Let's uh, bring in like Sarkin's Chandra. Shave down on like some of our targets here. I think Dracuseth is like fine. I should have got Bond. Or maybe two Bonds, honestly. I guess Crocs of Fate also seems kind of eh. They have Chandra. I might have Glorybringer. Uh, doesn't kill. Doesn't kill Vanguard. Fatal Push doesn't kill Vanguard either. We could bring in Fragmentize to deal with the uh, Rest in Peace. Or we could just try and avoid it. Obviously, we can Banishing Burst Rest in Peace too, which is pretty awesome. Or or Discard Spell it. I think I want the fourth Thought Seize again. I think I'm going to cut the un... Maybe like one Bond, maybe. So shave, a, shave a Dracos Death, Shave a Bond. And I think this is fine. I think I kind of like this. So we have a little bit of a backup plan here, and we have a, a third Sarkin and two Chandras. Of course, Chandra can also help cast Dragons, which is cool. Um, so we're a little bit less on our graveyard stuff. We'll see how much graveyard hate they have. I think we want to bring in our uh, Fragment Houses for Game 3. And again, obviously Sarkin can just cast our Dragons too, so... Uh, yeah, and it's great. We're going to lead on Inquisition, in case they have Rest in Peace. Law hold. Sure. I'm batting as a rest of beast in their hand. Bingo. Also have Glory Banger, God of the Worthy, Adanto Vanguard. Sure. This does make us hard get hard to cast our expensive spells. We can just helix it though, which is great. Adanto Vanguard is great. Cast looting. Wow, Inquisition and Thoughtseize. Jeez, that's pretty sweet. Discard both of our, our chonkers. Um, I guess we're going to Inquisition here, honestly. Let's see what the let's, let's mystery card is. It's a land, sure. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. Their deck seems very, very fair. Um, you know, they're really, really playing fair. All right, when I draw Barrow Rides, I kind of just want to... Uh, just flashback, flashback, looting, and set up for our dragon next turn. I'm always scared of Glorybringer, so discard rights and probably discovery. Could be land. Could just be land. All right, so once they draw a way to exile my graveyard. We are going to lore hold next turn at 10 life. Pretty healthy 10 life. If we were feeling super conservative, we could thoughts try and like wait a turn and thought seize them. I don't really know of many cards that can deal with our dragon though. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, cool, easy game. Easy game, yeah, pretty fair deck. My opponent, pretty fair deck. So, one one. Let's keep rolling here with Dragon Reanimator here on CoolStuffInc.com. I do want to remind y'all that I have a companion article to this video. That's right. I do a video article like this every Monday, a written article Friday. But even from my, my video articles, there's a written component on CoolStuffInc.com proper. Hop on over, point your browser at www.CoolStuffInc.com. Read my write-up, my article about the deck, and of course watch the video which we're doing right now. Of course, and check out CoolStuffInc.com in general. Uh, Best deals on the internet for all games, magic, singles, product, board games, you name it, they got it, coolstuffinc.com. Promo code JIM5, 5% off your order on coolstuffinc.com. And also check out my article from last Friday, where I talk about Strixhaven and how it's pretty underpowered. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, honestly. Standard needs to reset. I explain why it's a good thing that Strixhaven is an underpowered set in my article on coolstuffinc.com from last Friday. Check that one out as well. All right, we are on the drop with double discard spell, which honestly is a pretty good place to be on the draw. So, discard spells are a little better on the draw. All right, and uh, Inquisition. So again, if we're trading one for one here, then uh, what is this? Two lander, Ash main deck Ashiok, Absorb, Pact of Negation, Jace, Doomscar. This is a hand of Magic the Gathering cards, if you've ever seen one. Uh, I'm just going to take Ashiok, because it is pretty good against us. It is a main deck graveyard hate card. Uh, Jace, Doomscar, 
They draw Swamp, and they Foretell. I don't know if Foretelling is better than just playing a tap blue source, but sure. Sure, all right. Um, I mean, we're gonna Looting and then Thoughtseize. Next, we'll Thoughtseize first. Probably, I mean, they can't even, not even close to casting Absorb or Jace. Uh -huh. The Foretell card's probably a, a saw it coming, honestly, which is pretty annoying, because it means we can't, uh, we can't Thoughtseize that one, but sure. Sorry. Uh, that's true. I guess there's a, uh, whatever. Sure. I screwed up. I should play Blood Grips. It's fine, then. Uh, alright. They play their land untapped, and they just say, go. I'm gonna start by playing Looting. I could just Discovery. I'm just gonna Discovery. Start, like, land looting. Lorehold versus Lorehold, sure. So pay two, looting again. Discard Lorehold, Lorehold. So if we think this is, yeah, I mean they, they, they didn't cast. Oh, so it's Doom Scar. No, I'm, I'm, I'm half asleep. Um, Doom Scar is flashing back. Looting here isn't particularly appealing because there isn't much to loot into. So just play a tap to go. Setting up for Unbreakable Bond next turn on our Lorehold. They draw a blue source, they can play Pact Negation, but they didn't, so lucky us. Looting again, sure. This, like, might not work, because they have two unknown cards, but what are you going to do? Unbreakable Bond is here. Contempt! What a contemptuous thing to do. Sure. Now, the matchup where you don't want to draw as many, as many lootings. Pathway, Narset, and now they can, uh... Take it back in negation too, wow. In terms of our stuff too. Veto. Alright. Um so we just like helix the Narset here. And I guess just like keep on trucking. Got a flashback of looting. Oh, discard another looting and a land. We can just flashback lootings at this point, so. Dovin's Veto is pretty annoying. Um, okay. I feel like there are already enough good discard spells where you don't need to play Thought Erasure, but kind of cool, I guess. Extinction Event, sure. Lightning Helix, alright. Well, just gonna keep flashing back lootings. Discard Crux of Fate, Godless Shrine. Uh, kind of need some uh, some threats here, you know. And this this Dovin's veto and Pact negation are really kind of cramping our style. Flashback looting. Scarred land land. And now we've got Inquisition, which they'll probably just veto. I might want to just wait, honestly. Just do it next turn before we cast our spell. I guess if I play Jace, we'll want to do Inquisition Verse and Sarkin. I'm just cast now. They're going to let it happen. Interesting. Um, and they eat to Extinction to kill our Planeswalker, too. Oh, man. This is a, this is a tough one. It's like almost better that they didn't draw any any, any lands early on because they all spells. Yeah, that's really bad for us. We just don't really have any way to uh, to push through this. I'm not sure how we're, going, how we're actually going to win this game. We can draw like multiple and burrow rights, I think. Another Narset? Jeez. Alright. Contempt? Why do they have cards? How many cards that are good against us? Um, I guess we're gonna like thought seize the Jace. So I stick this Jace. We're like knocking on the win. I guess we have verse, but they have Doom Scar over here too. What a clunky pile of cards. 
Um, eh, you're up, I guess. I mean, our burrow rights would allow us to play multiple spells. But I guess they just have, like, these exiling removal spells. <laughs> it's like, their deck is like the nut against us. They just have a bunch of counter spells, exiling removal spells, and main deck graveyard hate and Ashiok, and, uh, and other counter spells. I mean, we can't cast this. If we can cast this, they'll just kill it. Doesn't even do anything. I guess they might as well just cast it, right? Start working on these, uh. And they have Castle, too? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think you win, folks. I think they should have just drawn a card off their uh, castle, honestly. Uh, okay. Well, that's game. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. Good health is easy to find in war. Now we have to defend with their pack negation. We're gonna go to the next game here. Yeah, that's a. This is quite the anti us deck, let me tell you. And now they can board like Resident Evil. I mean, now, we, honestly, we can get to board in like Pyromancer, Pyromancer, Warboss, Warboss, Chandra, Chandra, Sarkin, Thoughtseize, and cut like a lot of our junk. Like. We're gonna cut like both Draku Seths, both Bonds, both Crux of Fates, and then like. Probably shave like a Helix and a Discovery, maybe. Because Discovery is pretty bad. Bolt Discovery. I mean, Discovery is card neutral. Looting is actually card disadvantage. I can almost be cutting a, cutting a looting, honestly. Um, I don't think you want to bring in Fragmentize. I think they have Rest in Peace. We can just, like, cast our spells. I can almost see cutting out a Burrow Rights, too, though. Hmm. It's got a discovery and a number, right? It's... Now we have some non graveyard threats, but we can also do our graveyard thing too. Main deck Ashiok, jeez. Alright, on the play. Oh my god, you're killing me today, Smalls. You're killing me. What is going on today? Somebody call Watsy. Shuffler is broken. Alright, this hand's great. This hand's really, really good. So we're going to keep this. We're gonna ditch either discovery or looting. I think it just it's just the looting, honestly. I think looting is just card disadvantage. We can just do better than that. Alright, discard spell. We got Warboss teed up too. Hashiok, Narset, Doom Scar, and Lance. Um I kinda wanna shake the uh the Narset. I guess they have Doom Scar to kill my Warboss. Narset is certainly much better than Ashiok is. Like, turn to Doomscar, turn to Planeswalker, turn for Wrath. Once Ashiok's in play, it is pretty hard to remove. Alright. Alright, I mean, I don't love this, but... Sure. Freaking Doomscar. Freaking Doomscar. I don't double white yet, I guess. Thought Erasure! Ugh. That was a good draw. Uh, I can't do Scar with that one, sure. They do have a lot of things to kill Planeswalkers too, though, so... I know what I'm doing. Discard the looting. Draw, sure. We can slash back looting next turn, look for a Thought Siege or something like that. Problem is the ultimate on Sarkin, like, they just have Doomscar on their hand, so... Oh my god. This is like the, the anti-us deck. It really, really is like, literally, if you had to build a deck to beat our deck, this has gotta be it. Like, pretty wild. All right, let's uh, start here. I'll show you unhinged. I'm so stupid. I'm. Oh, I, ha I feel like Narset, Narset hasn't been a card for a long time, and now it's back, and like yeah, I just totally forgot about it again. Ugh. 
All right. Well, we're just gonna go to the next match. We just, I mean, I think we like play like a little bit longer, but we we just like actually can't win. Like the amount of answers they have for all things that they're doing is, are are far too numerous for us to be able to win. Gonna leave Narset on three. Why? I'm not even sure. I say like, can we show them Helix? We want to show, show them a way to, way to deal with it on Weiss at the ferry too. The deck is like kind of cool. I, I was working on blue-white control a few nights ago, and I postulated that maybe Esper, like more tap out, might be the way to go. So they kind of like built the deck I was thinking about. I mean, we just like, can't win. I, I, I don't know why they didn't get an extra card off their Narset, but. Hurry. Right, whatever. Right, you went. You went upon it. You got me. You got me. All right, take it easy over there. Slow down a notch. Slow it down a notch. All right, we're one and two. We're one and two. Uh, yeah, opponent, uh, opponents, uh, calling from inside the house. They saw the deck we played and decided to, uh, to build a deck to beat it. And they have succeeded. They have succeeded. Uh, the all exile removal, main deck, graveyard hate, discard, uh, counterspell, narset, uh, et cetera deck. It's got our number. It's got our number. Narset has gotten really, really good, uh, with brainstorm and looting under the, under the format. Narset's like really, really good. And the looting decks tend to not be super aggressive, so it's kind of harder to attack it, too. Well, Narset's like not great against like Gruul and stuff like that, or Goblins, but... Alright, uh, maybe keep this. I have a little faith in our lootings here. It's a joke. It's faithless looting. No lander. Hit, hit, uh, hit keep. Oh, nope, they're just gonna... Alright, sure, I guess, um... Count it! <laughs> We're not counting it. One and two still. One and two still. Alright, on the draw. No lands. Lurus of the Dream Den. Sure. Lurus can mean a number of things. All right, it's all right, I guess. Swamp. Thoughtseize. Joke's on you, our hand's pretty bad. Ha! I mean, two looting effects, a card you want in the graveyard, a Crux of Fate. Sure. There's a red source, but... Uh, okay. Um, they just kept the one-lander? Sure. Let's put looting here. And discard unburial rights and... Godless Shrine? Need to find a chonker, but, uh, sure. So, could be like Arcanist, could be Rogues, could be a number of things. Uh, okay. I'm going to assume whatever it is is pretty aggressive because they have Lurus. Um, we're going to bring in our creatures, I think. And we're going to bring in Fatal Push. We're going to push, push, Thoughtseize, Pyromancer, Pyromancer, Boss, Boss. We're going to cut like a Draku Seth, two Bonds. Like Crux of Fate, probably. Sarkin, Sarkin, Sarkin. Um, Sarkin's like worse if they're aggressive and we're on the draw. I don't think we want Chandra. It's kind of hard because like don't know what they're doing. Uh, it's got a couple of Sarkins.
Guess we'll find out, right? Guess we'll find out. That's a really solid hand. This is almost as good as it gets. Discard spell. All right, they're also looting next year. Discard spell into discovery for rights and lore hold. All right, so they're like probably just a Rakdos Arcanist deck. Discarding Croxa a Braid. Sure. All right, so good mana here for us. Courtyard Inquisition. They've got a. They've got no lands again. <laughs> All right, let's take the Arcanist, I guess. It's the best, best card in their hand by a lot. I mean, we could take the looting and try to mana screw them completely. But if they spike the land, then Arcanist is very good. Eh, I just take looting here, actually. And just hope they don't draw land. Yeah, sure. They actually like, can't cast a spell right now, so... Well, that was uh, that was some game of magic. Sure, I guess. All right, I was really good at that game, so I'm not like... You know, I'm probably one anyway, but... All right, two and two. Two and two. We've had some magic games today, let me tell you. Let me tell you, we've had some magic games today. Let's go. Dragon Reanimator. So I have a nice match here, you know? Nice, uh, nice back and forth game. You know? No one landers on either side. Just, just have a nice, nice, good game of magic here. Foil Master Flex. On the fly, and is good, not great, but good. We have we have discovery rights, Laurel. It's pretty good. No discard spell, not much interaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think this is the best board on Arena. It's the most. Uh, it's elegant. It's clean. Has enough little like widgets to click and stuff. The birds are really fun. I like it. Discovery, discarding lore hold and unbarrow rights. Draw some lands here. Yep. Now we're going to discover into a discard spell. Island, island? Brawl? What's going on here? Alright, we're going to start by thoughts using them. Their hand is Time Warp, Brawl, Narset, Quench. Ugh. Uh, I mean... Brawl seems pretty good. The Nars is pretty good too, unfortunately. Um, Force Bite Quench. Those are also pretty good. Um, I mean, I kind of don't want them to have Brawl. But this Narset looks pretty scary. I guess if I have a Narset, I just resolve my thing. That's fine. So we're going to have to take the Brawl here. I think we're just gonna kill Brawl. So now they have to have to, have to choose between playing Narset or leaving a counter spell up. If they play Narset, we draw a land. We'll get to reanimate, and if they don't, we'll just play Discovery. Hmm. Let's go for Discovery. Definitely a spot where it's much better than Cathartic is. Discard two Chonkers. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Play looting. Discard Draku Seth looting. Alright. It's like fine. That was obviously a totally wasted turn of mana for them, which is great. Lightning Helix, oh my god. Um. Hmm. Let's thought seize them. Let's see what this last card is. Definitely want to take Narset, so just the land. I mean they, this without planeswalker by time warp sucks anyway, so let's take Narset. Um get a flashback of looting also. These helixes are almost worthless, I think, so. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of we're gonna bond helix. Play this tapped. Now if we draw land, we can play around. I mean they they have, they have to quench and force spike our thing. So land foretell, that's pretty good. Alright, so let's draw out the uh 
draw out the four spike and the quench. Unless they have a, a sod coming. Oh wow. I, I'm sorry, they don't have mana to do that. Cool, let's go. Crux of Fate, Unbearer Rights, Faithless Living. So, Unbearer Rights, targeting, uh... I guess given that it's not gonna have haste anyway, which could drop you south here. Yeah, I mean, like, they better pop off here, or I think they're pretty dead. Not that I'm giving them, you know, authority to pop off here, but... So they have a Force Bike land, a Time Warp, and a card. These extra turns don't do much unless you're, like, generating some sort of advantage or creating some sort of an engine. Uh, you know, I mean, as Canada Sunken Ruin in play, um, you know, T Tamiyo or whatever. Right now, we're just taking turns and not doing anything. Maybe, like, sure, that's, but now they just have nothing, so now they have to draw a spell that's relevant. Because if I get to go again, I'm going to kill all of their stuff and then going to kill them. So, exactly. So, all right, I mean, let's do the time warp again. All right, so this is a spot where our pyromancers and war bosses are going to be freaking awesome. Uh, bringing in Thoughtseize, pyromancer, pyromancer, war boss, war boss. Uh, let's cut like two bonds and a dragon set again. I want the helixes to deal with the uh, the barals, I guess. It can kill Narset too. Crux of Fate can go. Um, do I want this third Sarkin or the Chandras? They're a little clunky. Um, I guess the Sarkin, if it resolves, plays around... Eh, not really. It can, like, make mana to cast things, but it doesn't really get around, like, the four spikes and stuff. I think this is fine. We'll see what they have, and then in Game 3 we'll consider bringing in Chandra on the play. Ooh, that's a hand. Uh, I mean, give me one blood crit, this hand's definitely a key, but that's better. Um, let's ship Sark in here. Just keep our efficient cards. The thoughts he used, then looting. Spell Pierce? No. Dispute, Quench, Karns, Temporal, Sundering. Extra turn, bounce permanent, but it can only be cast if you have a legendary uh, creature or Planeswalker in play. Okay. Let's take Quench here. I mean, it's good for all in play, I guess, but... Thrilling Discovery? Sure. Try Laurel and Barrites. Draw... Helix, Helix, Dragon Skull Summon. Sure. And they do have Mystical Dispute available, so... Alright, discard Honk and Chonker and Blood Crypt. I guess they have, like, four spikes in their deck and stuff. I'm gonna play this land first, then discard... And then, uh, Condition them. Imagine they dispute this to hide their hand. No? Uh, I mean, why why, why not? <laughs> so if, you're, if you're our opponent here, you want to dispute this, because I'm taking it anyway, and you can just conceal the rest of your hand. So... And that's in that case, like, I don't have a choice. I have to take it. So just cast a dispute there. Hide your hand. Alright, well, I guess we're going for it. I mean, unless they do a counter spell this turn, we're in good shape, so... Let's see it. Lorehold. Wow. The old thought seized bug. Reels of rears its ugly head again. They draw the card you thought seized. Alright, so. Again, they can time warp here, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's just against his explore. Just make a land, make a land drop, draw a card. Sure. Let's cast looting. Like a boss. That's an awkward tap by our auto tapper. All right, we'll ship the uh, the shrine, the helix, I guess. Definitely didn't do us any favors there, but sure. I should wait. That was stupid. I should wait on this. That was, was autopiling. I should wait till next turn. 
Yeah, that was that was that was a really bad play. I, I just kind of autopiloted. It ended up like working out for us, but like I definitely should have waited for next turn. Well, I could have cast it with the orb boss. Now they're gonna scry, put a counter spell on top, and then I cast war boss. So that was a mistake. That was just me kind of autopiloting. That's pretty good. Uh, that's sort of an engine. Aether gust too. Wow. They can bounce their Narset too. Wow. All right. Well, we're gonna play uh, War Boss here and see if we can get the Gust away, and then we'll just Helix the Narset. There's no way they don't Gust this. So. And we're gonna hold this land uh, for a future looting effect. Castle Vandress all day. Mono blue turns. Once the uh, the boss gets going, like should be in pretty good shape. Bottom bottom, we like to see that. We always, we always love a good bottom here on my Monday cool stuff videos. So this card's got to be good. It it is good. It is good to be fair. Uh yeah, all right. Well, let's look at the kill Narset, and uh, that's not very good either, sure. Alright, so... You still have much mm, play the land. So they can, like, obviously Epiphany here, but... It makes some tokens, but doesn't really do much. That was a hard cast epiphany, sure. I guess if I cast epiphany every turn of the rest of the game, they'll win. So they'll attack for two, then four, then six, then eight. I was kidding, by the way. Please don't do that. Four spikes, sure. They're gonna attack. Wow. Alright, I wouldn't mind a good draw here. You can't cast this. This is a legendary sorcery, so. Thrilling Discovery. Can't even cast it. Can't even cast it. If I held the land, we could have cast it. So that might have been that might have been wrong to play the land. I was kind of thinking of it like if I want to cast multiple card draw spells, any more mana in play, but probably just a mistake. I probably should have just held it. A little hindsighty, but. Alright, well, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. They're not dead on board yet, but they are, like, close to dead on board. Alright. I'm really happy we're at 9 and not 8, because we're not dead to, to a, a time warp here. Top, bottom, I can't be good. That can't be good. Brawl, Sundering, kill us. Time warp. Okay. Not sure why they added this card to the format. I feel like most time warp games just aren't very fun, you know. They weren't dead. Two, four, six, eight, nine. You weren't even dead, opponent. Wow. Wow. We do one more game. We're three and two, but that's been, it's been a pretty fast video so far. We'll do one more one more match. We'll do a little bonus match here. A little bonus match for y'all. Kind of a weird, kind of a cool deck. Weird deck, but cool deck. We're always really good. We're always definitely really good. Uh, I mean, if we had a, a looting here, I would keep the sand, even with the tap land, but can't keep the sand. Oh my god. Uh, they are Lurus decks. So we should be pretty good, in theory. Um, I'm going to get rid of one of these, though. You want to keep on Brawler Rights. We could, like, get rid of it, honestly. And just, like, rip their entire hand apart and just hope we draw better than them. I kind of don't hate it, honestly. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, they are playing... Oh, boy. They are playing, a, like, a feathery kind of prowess deck. And we took their only creature. 
Oh boy. Uh, Alright, let me hear that back. <laughs> Double infuriate, huh? That's infuriating. Alright, well now you should draw some spells. Uh, that's not a spell. Alright, well we can keep the Thoughtseize for Lurus. Except with the Lurus in their hand, let's take it. Okay, so Boros, Prowessy, Heroic-y stuff. This is embarrassing for everyone involved. Uh, players taps, they go. They have a, they have a God's Willing? They do. Clever Loom Mancer, sure. Lighting Helix, oh my god. Um, okay. Let's see, go. I guess they have a lot of instants. They want to like play one first though. Flying strike. All right, so we're gonna we helix. They no wait, because we helix they pump. We helix they pump. We reverse they God's willing. That's terrible for us. All right. Stupid God's willing. Oh, we got him. Alright. There, that was, that was, that was ins Oh, I can't cast both. I only have one white. <sighs> Alright, well, we're gonna cast this. Make him use it. Uh, we're taking a million this turn. We can untap and verse it, so. lot. That is a lot. Alright. We uh, don't have any honking chonkers yet. No creature? Oh yeah. Come on now. We need some we need some help here. Um, I'm going to play a land. We, we want to draw like looting and be able to looting and bond in the same turn. Ugh. Come on. Alright. <sighs> never never play the bonus game. Never ever play the bonus game. First rule of content creation. When you're done, you're done. Don't play anymore. Alright, so we're going to bring in our pushes. Um, Deafening Clarion's real clunky. Um, I kind of like Pyromancer too. And I kind of want the lifelink from the bond. She have like a Dracus have a bond. Crux of Fate's pretty good, too. Thoughtseize is weird. Um, I don't want all of them, but I kind of want some of them. I'm not, like, pumped about Sarkin, either, honestly. I'm going to draw... Oh, I'm sorry, we're on the play. I'm sorry, we're on the play. I'm going to play Sarkin. Sarkin just seems hard to protect. Uh, so we have three Thoughtseize... I think this is good. Just like hedging a little bit against uh, Graveyard Hate. We do have discard spells for Rest in Peace. We have Banishing Verse for Rest in Peace, so. Problem is now we've boarded out to Sarkins. So we only actually have eight good discard outlets. This hand's, like, so close. I mean, I got, we gotta keep this hand, unfortunately. Like, we have to draw a discard outlet, but our hand's perfect if we do. I guess we're a little way to rest in peace, but... Answer, sure. Can do this all day. No, rest in peace, please. Huh. Can't heal that one. Oh man, double courtyard, sure. Alright, alright, alright. Opponent is very defiant. Fury 8, okay. Just the old lava spike. 
That was a good draw. That was a good draw. Now let's draw Thoughtseize. Vanishing Verse? It's not bad. Um, we, uh... Yeah, we can do that. When, though? Playing around, trying to play around God's Willing. Kind of can't, honestly. Just a go. Let's cast it on their turn, make them use the, uh, the mana. Oh, wait, never mind. Get off my plane. Oh, yeah, there we go. And so they definitely have God's Willing, 100%. So why, why would they wait on the Fine Strike? They could just cast it on their turn. That makes sense, though. Apostle of Purifying Light. Oh, thank God, no. No, uh, no land for the Exile. Woo! That was close. Come on down, buddy. Push, Thought Seize, Inquisition. There we go. That's better. Apostle of Purifying Light. All right. Now we are on the draw. Um, hmm. I kind of feel like I want Thoughtseize more on the draw. Just like more important to nab their creature. I brought in two push. Crux of Fate is like, it is really, really expensive. But it does like guaranteed kill their stuff. But it is really, really expensive. We're on the draw too. It's got the Cruxes. Bring the Thoughtseize. Let's bring in a Sarkin. We have many answers to Apostle Purifying Light, so come on. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, that's better. Ship a courtyard. Soul Guide Lantern. Annoying, but sure. It's not a creature, so... Just don't have any creatures, really? They have two. They have two creatures. Must be nice. So they play in the Legionnaire. I guess we thought sees them. If I was we thought sees them and they just put Loris in their hand, like I guess it's like not the worst for us. This is obviously really annoying. We can't really remove this, which really sucks, honestly. Take the strike. I'm just gonna hope they break off a little bit, I think. Yeah, graveyard hate's annoying. Well, obviously that rest of me is playing Lurus. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not true necessarily. That was pretty good. I mean That's yeah, okay. Like, casting lore hold isn't crazy, you know? They might have God's Willing, though. That's why they chose to not put this in their hand or play Lumomancer. I was going to keep Lorehold in our hand. I don't need but the hope we can play it. Alright. I mean, now if we can draw like a Lightning Helix, might be in good shape here. We can discard spell and then take their protection spell and kill the Legionnaire. God's willing, not today, my friend. No pump spell, please. Oh yeah, feels good. It's scry one. Top? Who tops? Who tops these days? Double loom answer, sure. Well, we want to cast this next turn, so we're just going to play this tapped, and we're just going to hope we draw a land next turn. So we'll just, uh... 
do this. I will call the dragons. So we just need to draw any untap land to cast Lorehold next turn. Come on, untap land, let's go. Alright, I mean I guess we have to like loot this away and uh and uh, try again next turn as long as I can't kill. So they have to like brick on a, a, a brick on a pump spell. You draw banishing verse. <laughs> what madness! <laughs> or another umbrella rights, sure. Didn't pop the soul guide looking for a pump spell. Ah, come on. All right, that's our only Sarkin. Uh, now we're in huge trouble. Good draw. Good draw. I think we're just dead, folks. I think we're just dead. Oh, come on. Three lands, all gas. Where's Carter? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Actually, no, nah, we'll save this thing. Well, we can try it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll screw up. No lands in your play are actually like, kind of okay here, in theory. Let's go really fast. I don't realize it. Alright, Graveyard Hate gets this. Alright, so that's that's fine. So we went three and three. M moral of the story is never play a bonus match of all, you know, ever. But um, definitely, as we saw, the Graveyard Hate's a little bit of a problem. Um, that game was like. We had a lot of good shots at it. We just like drew a land that one turn. They, they, they had to draw a haste creature or pump spell. You know, it you know could have been a little better for us. But um, all in all, deck's super fun. You know, definitely um, definitely a, a fun competitive deck. It's splashy. It's exciting. Lorehold is a freaking awesome card, and we're just playing a lot of really good cheap spells. I mean, Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Looting, Helix, Verse. These are all like tier one top quality interaction, and. Um, it's a really, really good you know vessel for this sort of a graveyardy strategy. It makes a lot of sense. So, deck super fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, check out the full write up on CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code Jim five percent off your order. And see me here every week on Monday on CoolStuffInc.com for my video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Jim Davis. Happy going, folks. Oh yeah, and like, comment, subscribe.